Yai is one of the loveliest regions of Thailand. Its national park is a World Heritage Site that's blessed with a lush mountainous landscape that stretches down to fertile valleys where the pioneers of Thailand's wine industry planted their first vines. Now it's hard to believe that in Khao Yai, just a few hours drive from Bangkok, there are scenes like this, rows and rows of grapevines. Now we've arrived here just in time for harvest and very soon these Shiraz grapes are going to end up as wine that will be exported to other countries like Japan. The Pibi Valley Khao Yai Winery was established in 1989 by entrepreneur and visionary Dr. Pia Piron Bakdi, whose family also founded the Singha Corporation. The first vineyard spread over a total of 20 hectares and was planted with Shiraz for the red wine and Chenon Blanc for the white, featuring French rootstock and Tempranillo from Spain. With the harvest of 1998, PB Valley Khao Yai Winery celebrated its first milestone. The 1999 vintage proved that quality wine could be successfully produced in Thailand and PB's international awards since then speak for themselves. Tourists venture here every day for wine tastings and vineyard tours. We were also here to see if this year would be an award-winning harvest. Now the grapes here at PB Winery are usually harvested around February each year. And if you arrive here in time for harvest, you can join in. But I guess this is part of the fun of harvest time, isn't it? You can actually join in. Yeah, it has become a tradition that we open the vineyard, let's say like this, for customers who book the regular wine testing tour. Yeah. As an additional free on cutting the grapes, make a little bit competition eventually. <laughs> Depends on the group who join us, uh, who in five minutes can cut uh, the closest to five kilo in a group, <laughs> kind of. Now this is this this wine ends up in in countries like Japan, doesn't it? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. we we do export uh, mainly to Japan. Some is going to Europe, uh, but export Thai wine is, is still in its baby shoes, if you want to say it like this. Yeah. It's not not yet well known. So. Mm. But, it's, but it's growing, yeah? It's growing and yes, it's getting more international recognition. And of course, uh, having in Thailand, having more professional sommeliers in all over the hotels, that helps also to promote the local wine. They're absolutely delicious. Sweet. Mm. From the fields, the harvest goes into the winery where winemaker Julpera goes to work. So the grapes have been harvested and they end up in here. So what process are we at right now? Okay, uh, we are in the process of pressing. We're just about to press our Tempranillo. It's been uh, uh, in the skin contact for 12 days already. So it's been sitting there sort of yeah, fermenting away. Yeah, soaking and extracting the colour. Yeah, right. yeah right. and fermenting at the same time. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to separate out the skin and we're going to let them ferment with, uh, with our skin. Okay, okay so so that's why we do pressing. This process here, over here behind us, has taken all the skin off. Yeah, take, uh, separate out the skin and, and see. And we've seen yeah. it all come through, just the juice. Yeah. Yeah. So from here... We're going to pump into uh, the juice to the fermentation tank. Right. To let, uh, let the juice continue uh, fermenting with our skin. And how long will you leave it there to ferment? Okay, uh, about uh, 20 days. 20 days. Until it's become almost bone dry. Yeah. yeah. You cannot taste any sweetness. And then after that, we will uh, lack off the yeast deposit and then uh, age them for this one, 12, 12 months. So yeah. you age it for 12 months yeah. and then it's ready for the table. That's yeah? right, that's right. Now 
Now, while a big percentage of PB's wine is exported to other countries, due to the growing demand for wine here in Thailand, a lot of it ends up in restaurants throughout the country. Places like this, the Hornbill Bistro is located in the heart of Bangkok, where good wine is wonderfully combined with good food. The Great Hornbill Bistro is a sister venue to the Great Hornbill Grill Vineyard Restaurant at PB Valley. Located on Sukhumvit Soy 39, the bistro's team specializes in modern international cuisine. Now for the dining experience here at Hornbill Bistro, what do you offer? Well, it's a typ I mean, it's a bistro, so it's typical bistro food, including some of the specials which we are well known in Khao Yai. So, but obviously there are two different chefs. So our chef here has more bistro experience, so he has different, some of the different dishes as well. Yeah. So we can try some later on. So you've got Thai food, you've got international food. Yes. And you've got some nice sort of fusion mixes. Fusion, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we have some some pasta dishes, some pizza dishes without being Italian. Right? We don't want to be Italian, but we also don't want to be um, kind of 100% Thai. But the combination, so far, our customer really like it because we fill in the niche market to this. Yes. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest hits here is the thin crust PB pizza. And you can take classes to learn how to make your own. say good wine is wasted without good food, well, we tend to agree, and a bottle of red or white is even more appreciated when you see what's involved to bring it to the table. <laughs> 